one of my net runners is unresponsive, in spite of clear orders to remain in direct contact with me. Something must have happened. He would not dare go against me. Familiarize yourself with the brief and proceed swiftly. I need him. For years, I worked to get jobs done comfortably with a crew I handpicked myself. I chose Cheng Wu Nam years ago, and he hasn't let me down once. I don't know what happened to him, but you must get him back. Check the basement in that Chinese place. He keeps his gear there, sometimes takes a side gig or two. I think he's still alive. If he weren't, he's the type who'll come back as a ghost and apologize. Just like in those tales from the old country that make me want to puke. He's sentimental like that. Ha! Oh lord. Honestly, I really hope he's not dead. Because the last mission that was similar to this, the girl was just cut into pieces because of her sister going all loony bin. Oh man, going to the basement is not really a good sign. Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and hopefully this isn't bad news. Now I do appreciate the love and support for you tuning into this week's Cyberpunk 2077. Now, let's prepare for the worst and hope for the best. What the hell type of traps are these? Can I disarm them? Oh, thank god. I assume these are explosives, so... Last thing I need is to be blown to pieces. Let me get my weapon out. Borsiakaso, you know? What the hell's going on? Oh, this place got fucked up. I don't see any other bodies in the room. Oh no! Look, Fee, it's you in the near future. Shut up! Every net runner ends up the same way. Brain fried by some corpo ice. Looks like he's still breathing. He is? Okay. Um, I don't know how I would find out how he got into it. Let me see. I already got someone on this job, but could use some help. Try to follow Vortex's footprints on the net. There has to be some trace. Send whatever you find directly to me. Uh, I'll take some grenades, sure. Um, I'll I'll do the access point, see if I can find something. Yes, I love to hack. Definitely look forward to hacking all the time because why not? Am I right? I'm starting to hate this, to be honest. I just I don't know. I'm not really into... I'm not really into the hacking concept because if you get one thing wrong, you blow it out completely, which is pretty annoying. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. You know what? Something's telling me to go to this door right here, so... Oh, I can't even force it open. Hold on. Let me see if I can... I see messages. I see you're trying to get your hands on the KT container. You couldn't fuck, fucking wait for me. Manage on my own, thanks. You fucking trying to prove something, you fucking total brain? The old guard would never give up. We knew how to get things done in my time. That kind of bullshit. Am I close? At least tell me you're using that splinter I sent without they'll hard hardboard your brain. No bullshit. Gramps like you has no place jacking around like this solo. 
No need to panic, I told you I'll be fine. What, is this some kind of last hurrah? Going out with a bang? Some other cliche? You know what? I don't give a shit anymore. Do whatever the fuck you want, you stubborn old fossil. Obviously, there's some arguments between these two guys. Nam, you are needed today. Receive my message. What's going on? Alright, so this door was not opened. I thought it was. And it's so dark in here, like, I can't even see for shit. It's a recipe of some kind. Pork dice into cubes, potatoes, zucchini, carrots. Oh shit, this looks good. Okay. It's just another recipe. It's the same thing. Alright, so I don't know why it's so dark in here, but... I gotta force it open somehow. Follow the lights. Wait, what lights? There's lights in here? I am so confused. Hold on. Follow the lights. Let me see if I'm able to... Oh, wait, hold on. Notes. 67% collation match, no time match. Not him. Question mark. 74% code coincidence, but too old. Special is 13 years max. Okay. Uh, UX97 inactivity encoded. Setup failed. Check with T bug, may know her. Wow. T-Bug. I haven't heard that name in ages. Rest in peace, by the way, T-Bug. I miss you a lot. What keeps opening? I'm curious. I'm glad he's breathing, but in terms of following the lights... Uh... When I imagine what the net was like before Bart Moss, I see thousands of potential threats and thousands of opportunities. Of course, the whole system was unstable. Corporal runners pulling one way, post-war rogue AIs pulling the other. Financial markets tanked, virus mutation spiraled in uncontrollable ways, and runners got cooked in their living rooms every now and then. Bart Moss saw the net as a grenade waiting for the pin to get pulled, and that's exactly what he did. Fuck it, right? Let the world burn. Bart Moss fucked the system, but fucked all of us right along with it. Just look at it now. Corps are on top as usual. The black wall, which was supposed to protect us after the net's crash, is just another control tool in Netwatch's arsenal. Before ba Bart Moss, the net was on tame jungle. If you could navigate it, you had a chance to survive. You were free. After Bart Moss, the net's like an airport security check. Every step you take, Netwatch is checking in your papers and performing a thorough cavity search. Oh, but all for your own good, of course. I mean, I know it says to follow the lights, but in all honesty, what type of lights am I following? I am confusion. And I know this is the entrance, so... Alright, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade my... my skill. Hold on. Okay, so I actually did follow the lights these bad boys right here and it led me to this trap door so oh it's a good thing I wasn't rushing into this okay this arm holy smokes okay this arm again and then ooh what did I do Find the shard for stabilizing Chang Hoon Nans. 
Okay, I got it. Wow. I did all that upgrade for nothing. I was trying to upgrade my strength to open up this door, but you know what? The second option's not too bad, so... Alright, wake up. <sighs> two seconds. What? Wake your ass up, boy. We don't got two seconds. Uh, wait, I, I can't. Wake up. Give me one moment. I don't know how long I hear, but as you Americans say, I'm starving. You're in luck. There's a restaurant upstairs. I know. The whole time. Those aromas. What torture. So you were conscious? Partially. More like in deep hibernation. We oui. had a peek at your messages. Looks like this spectral kid was right, huh? Hmm. I get stuck after all. Ugh, oh, when he find out, he'll become completely insufferable. That way you didn't ask him for help? Case of a fragile ego. No. But because I was trapped in the subnet, the lights were as far as I could go. Any idea what's in the Corpo code case? You young people ask too many questions. See for yourself. Fine, <laughs> whatever. Maybe it's not such a good idea after all. Ha! Ah, you're a fast learner. So, you're probably wondering who sent me. Wakako. She always find an excuse to drag me to her place for dinner. You must visit me someday. I'll show you a few net running tricks. Wasn't it me who just saved your ass? We never stop learning hard lesson. But you don't have to do everything alone. Thanks, I'll think about it. I'll take up your off your offer some other day. Now I just gotta call Wakako to let her know that you're not dead. Oh, I'm lost. Hold on. I was informed of how you handled yourself. Good work. I expected nothing less from you. I am closing the contract. Yes, I love getting paid. He did it again. And we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? Did I just walk into some therapy now. session? Thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Wow, I mean, she's cute, but she definitely has a lot of boy problems. Hey, Brendan, got any jokes for me today? What do you get when you're fired by a corp? What? Severed and put in a package! That's not a joke, that's depressing. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? Yeah. She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice and pretty and sensitive. Mm, I okay. like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a Daring Dairy instead of a Tiancha? I may have overestimated you. You're nothing but a robot. And not even a complex one at that. You don't need to be complex to say something meaningful from time to time. That's yet to be proven. See ya, Brendan. That's it? Just a little interaction with Brendan? Okay. I guess that's cute. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? Oh, he has a sick guitar. I love it. To my untrained ear, 
Sounds all right, I guess. Easy listening, at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. Really know how to give a guy a compliment. That how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. Wanna shake the world, you know? World's gotta feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's gonna sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy him back. All right, Princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Hmm. So he has unreleased music. Mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. <laughs> Chokes aside. You think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. I just love how this guy is playing his guitar. It's so soothing and relaxing. And that guitar looks pretty dope, too. All right, let me leave before he's, like, freaking out about how I'm staring at him. All right, so we're on our way to Remo Cadenza. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team. Huh. huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Okay, well, in that case, let me just... Ask? Hey. Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? Excuse me. What now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp broke them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know. Samurai stuff? I know you know. Oh, Speak. Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Damn. Yeah, even I know that one. That's my stuff. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Okay. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Watch it, old cream. man. Thanks. That stuff is a potential classic, man. Hey, been in Night City long now? Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay, and be on your way. Damn, okay, never mind. So rude. I'm trying to make friends, and they're just like, shut up and eat. Wait a minute, this is the guy? Hey, looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Shite? Oh, Jim, just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop. Here, at my stand. 
shite. Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Mm -hmm. Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. Oh my I'd god. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. Where's Johnny? I'm proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. Wow, he's a fanatic. Like, hardcore. Yeah, looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. What do you Not mean? Not if you're so, so chilled about it. What do you mean? Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. Gunk? Fuck you too, bro. <laughs> Ain't a poser. Know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. <sighs> I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? Yeah, bro, totally. Right, punk, prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Come on, Johnny. Well, can't wait all day. Johnny, please. Can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running I just out. want your music, bro. How am I supposed to give bro? a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played Johnny. our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Damn. Never did get herself any tech hair. Okay, so I'll do Denny's. Well, actually, right here. Ooh, let me think. Uh, there was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. Huh, <laughs> bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. <gasps> oh my god, I'm getting it. <gasps> this samurai concert recording. Wow. I can't believe it. I got it. Thank Much you. Appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpos. Yes, death to corpos indeed. Yo, I got Johnny's Johnny's you know, they underground say music. Johnny's the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. That's gonna be me Guy's in the future. Your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him. Blue Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. 
Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. You hear that? Don't get stuck in the past. Change yourself and change the world. I like that. That's a good quote. Let's in get out of here. Years, something must have changed. No, it changed. What? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka. Same old shit. Different packaging. Something's changing. Maybe we can't see it, but there's change all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.